This patented Impler pump air conditioner uses 25% power only compared to air conditioner using compressor. This invention uses an Impler pump, two tanks, two four-way valves and a sensor to replace the compressor. The way this invention works is by producing pressure via an Impler pump, where the Impler pump sucks the liquid from one tank and pumps the liquid to the other tank. The tank which being sucked the pressure gets low so the ferion will move from the evaporator to this tank. The tank which being pumped liquid into it, the pressure gets high so the ferion will move from this tank to the condenser via the oil separator. The upper four-way valves keep the evaporator connected to the sucking tank all the time and keeps the condenser connected to the pumping tank all the time. The lower four-way valves keep the full tank connected to the suction outlet of the Impler pump all the time and keeps the empty tank connected to the pumping outlet of the Impler pump all the time. The compressor compresses the ferion via metal pistons. This invention compresses the ferion via liquid pistons situated inside the tanks. The function of the sensor is to switch pumping directions. So when all the ferion passes by the sensor, then the liquid comes and touch the sensor, then a signal is sent from the sensor to the controller, where the controller sends a signal to the all eight valves to close four opened valves and to open four closed valves. Always the closing of valves take place before the opening so the pressure stay as it is in the pipes. The vertical impler pump and the two tanks when squeezed together will make a new compressing unit. The volume this unit will take will be twice the size of the compressor used now in the air conditioner. So it will be Easy to replace the compressor by this new unit. The simpler pump unit will have four outlets. One for the evaporator to be connected to, one for the condenser to be connected to, one for the oil accumulator, and one for charging the air conditioner with Ferion. All the remaining parts of the air conditioner stay as they are. The evaporator, the expansion valve, the receiver, the condenser and the oil separator. The four-way valves in this animation shown in a way to explain the idea, but in reality they will be compact like this picture shown here. The oil separator function is to send back to the tank all the liquid which accumulates in it. As we see here, where as the liquid rise in the oil separator, the ball will move up and it will open the valve. So the liquid starts to return from the oil separator to the tank. There is a one-way valve between the oil separator and the tank, which only allow the liquid to move in one direction. That's from the oil separator to the tank. There is a second one-way valve between the tank and the condenser, which only allow the ferion to move in one direction, that is, from the tank to the condenser. There is a third one-way valve between the tank and the evaporator, which only allow the ferion to move in one direction, that's from the evaporator to the tank. 
Since the Ampler pump unit uses only 25% electricity, so when a building replaces its central cooling system compressor with this Ampler pump unit, they will get their money back within a month or two. Then they will save a huge amount of money every month since they will have low electricity bill every month. The same will apply for meat and food warehouses and malls and airports and ships transporting meat or food or gas and universities and government offices and hospitals and so on.